to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. But who am I? I am I, who at inception was so intricately intrepid that I married me to conceive myself. I am delicately dainty in my 20 pearls, yet dauntlessly dapper in the swagger of my manner. Who am I? I am endlessly evolving, not merely in my existence, but living fully the reality of my actuality. I am nascent in my nomenclature, for I am tripartite of the tie between Grover and Harriet and the tribal ancestors who traveled before them. Just as Yeshua Mashiach is tied to Mary God and Horus to Isis Osiris, these troikas theosophically tie me to all humanity. Oh yeah, I am inclined to be ironically humble, having heroic potential with the propensity of hellish proclivity in the face of injustice. I am tacitly reserved, yet tenaciously assured. I am you, and you are I. Do you know who I am? <laughs> you ought to be asking yourself if you know who you are. I am who I say I am. And you, well, you can be whoever you say you are. Just be good to you. Because when you are, you can't help but be good to me. And among all of those things that I just said that I am, I am also Dr. Dion Bates, and welcome to Dispelling Messages That Separate You From Who You Truly Are. How's everybody doing this morning? Great. Good. There's a lot going on this morning. Has everybody been having a good time? Yes. Yeah. Well, first, I want to thank you guys and just let you know that I really appreciate you being here and spending this time with me this morning. Um, Ordinarily, I talk about this topic in the context of identity development, but I want to do something a little bit different today. Though we will talk globally about identity development, this session is not about identity development, as there are a lot of different facets that contribute to how identity develops, and they're too numerous for the time that we have. But in the context of this year's theme, I'd like to look briefly at some of the ways that mainstream media has generated external messages that sometimes cause chaos between who we are extrinsically and who we are intrinsically. And so in this session, we will explore more depthly how some messages can muddle the formation of our true selves and look at ways to dispel such messages and create those that facilitate the emergence and integration of one's true, healthy, authentic self. So, how have LGBT individuals typically been portrayed in mainstream media? 